Hi, my name is Simone Cuomo and today I'm going to show you how to create multiple sidebar in Bitpress. If you're completely new to Bitpress, I suggest you to actually check our other videos and our blog posts on this.co forward slash blog or the videos within the Distom Media channel. Um, having multiple sidebar in a documentation site is more uh, important than you actually think. Um, most documentation starts with one layer where all the documentation are, lay, uh, are laid down, but then it, it comes a time where you may actually need to have you know, uh, an API page and a blog page and actual guide page. And you really don't want to have the same sidebar on the, on, on the side of your screen. So let's assume, um, let's take for example, uh, let's create uh, two different um, two different entry points. Let's say the our website is going to have a blog and is also going to have a, um, a API. Okay, so a blog and an API. Let's assume that one goes to the blog and one goes to the API page. If you uh, have followed us in the previous post, you know that this is what uh, this is now going to change the header of our website. So if I go here, you will see that we got a blog and an API. So if I go on blog, you see that on a markdown example. And if I go to API, you see the runtime API example. So that actually works in a nutshell, but it's really not what we want because we would like the sidebar to actually be, um, um, you know, uh, we would like the sidebar to be different. We don't want to see the blog uh, entry within my API and likewise the same. Luckily for us, it's very, very simple to achieve this uh, using Bitpress. In fact, at the moment, we're just passing an array right here in the sidebar, but we're actually gonna change this and instead of actually pass an array, we're gonna pass an object. So let's change the array to be an object. And as you may expect, the object now needs to have named parameters. So we're gonna do, we're gonna call this forward slash block. And then we're gonna call this, and then we're gonna add another one here below. Okay. So forward slash blog, and then this is gonna be there. I shouldn't have removed the array, okay? So, um, yeah, it's complaining about yeah. yeah. And then we're going to do another one called forward slash um, API, lowercase because it's going to be uh, actual endpoints. And also this uh, is going to be a, an array. And this is why an array because um, you can have multiple headings. So if you go back here, you see that we've got the headings as example, but you could have getting start and advanced. And that's why this has to be an array because it includes more entries there. Um, and we're really just gonna uh, replicate, oh, there's too many, that's what it is. Um, we're really gonna uh, replicate what is here for the sake of this um, uh, uh, this tutorial, but we're also gonna understand and make changes to it. Uh, we're gonna make more pages that actually makes more sense for you uh, to actually experience it. Um, so we got this here, we're gonna, let's say, we're gonna do just one change where here, here, we're just gonna show the API, and here we're just gonna show the markdown, okay? So if I save now, and you go back on the page, actually, you're not going to see what to expect to see because the left hand side does not have anything. Um, the reason for it is because when you define a sidebar like this, the sidebar will be driven by the AP, by the actual URL. So in our case here, this sidebar is going to show just when there is a blo forward slash blog forward slash. And this sidebar is just going to show when the link will include API API. So for us to use these sidebars, we need to make sure that our markdown is within the correct folder. So if I create a new folder here and I call it API, and then I'm gonna take my API example and move it there. Okay. And then if I create another folder here called blog, make sure you always you know, align blog blogs. Uh, that's one of the very common mistakes that can happen there. And then, oh, I, I got the wrong. Uh, Then we've got blogs here. Um, 
and uh, the uh, block folder here is empty. We need to take the markdown example, put it in the block. Um, if you, you may know that the navigation uh, in uh, Bitpress is done by folder structure, so it's, file, it's folder based. So what that means is that for me to access the markdown example now, I need to go to forward slash blog forward slash markdown example. So the first thing we need to do is change these links. And then you also need to change these links. Okay. Now, if we go back to our uh, um, um, our site, you can see that it's a 404 because it doesn't have the API, so that page doesn't exist anymore. But if we go here, we're going, as you can see, on API forward slash API example, and you can actually see that the sidebar now is the runtime API example. If I go to blog, we should actually see the markdown example. So this is a very small example, a uh, small tutorial on how to create multiple sidebars. Very, very useful for, um, uh, for complex, uh, not even complex, for mostly every documentation sites, because as I say, you may need a blog, you may need an API, and you may need, um, uh, you know, you may need a, a guide or something else. So this really helps you to break things down. Um, what I've also seen many times is actually for this to actually be broken down in their own file. So what you could do is you, you could create a JSON file called block sidebar. You can create a JSON file called API sidebar, and then you just import it directly here. So uh, this will just say uh, block sidebar uh, that may be imported from a different site. So this will help you to actually keep the configuration site nice and clear. Um, this is everything for me. Um, have a lovely rest of the day and keep tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well to our channel but more importantly uh, don't forget to keep an eye open for future uh, Bitpress uh, videos as we're going to go in more details in other videos so we're going to go in understanding the front matter um, and we're also going to understand how the um, uh, you know the, how to create custom uh, custom pages custom theme thank you for everything this program is presented by This.Labs, the framework agnostic consulting firm helping enterprises realize their technical goals through staff augmentation, consulting, project management, on-demand subject experts, training, and other professional services. Find out more at this.labs.com.